Uh, welcome in this session we are going to learn how to migrate your PostgreSQL database using export and import. Our source environment is going to be on-premises environment or any other infrastructure as a service or in other words we can say there is a virtual machine which is there in the cloud. We are going to take an export from there and we are going to import in Azure uh, database for PostgreSQL on single server. So quickly I will go through the steps, then uh, we'll do the demo. So this demo is about migration of Azure database for PostgreSQL on single server. So what we are going to use is we are taking the approach of uh, uh, individual databases. So in this example, we have a DVD rental database. So let me show you how it is. So if you say PSQL over here, uh, just say list you will be able to see that there is a DVD rental uh, database. If you switch to DVD rental, you will be able to see uh, a few tables inside that. I believe there are 15 tables and that has uh, every, uh, all the 15 tables has a few rows and they all are in public schema. We are trying to migrate this to Azure database for PostgreSQL, which I have already uh, created. It is a single server and it is in, uh, and it is with the uh, Postgre uh, 11 version because that's a limitation. And if you see um, here it is, uh, this is my, my Postgre uh, Azure uh, instance. And uh, these are the default databases which comes in when you, when you uh, create this instance. So what we are going to do is so from on-premises from this environment, which is uh, actually this is also a demo on a uh, virtual machine on the Azure itself, but just to simulate how it is going to work, we are doing this. So in, in reality, this is just, I think the, P, uh, the version is 12.5 and the target is 11. So P, uh, this PG underscore dump that has that free, uh, feature. If you want it to go across the versions that uh, you can use it. So what we are going to do is an Azure database for PostgreSQL. So we have a demo uh, source environment wherein we have uh, Postgre 12, which is already installed and a database, which is DVD rental available. And we have something called as PG underscore dump, which is going to take the export of PostgreSQL dump from the source. And uh, uh, from the same host, we have a connectivity to the sub target server, which is PostgreSQL uh, single server, which is a managed instance in PostgreSQL, and we are going to import it over there. So how do we take the, the export? It is very, very simple and one of the basic stuff in Postgre. So you just say po, pg underscore dump, then you mention the host name. If it is whole local host, you mention it local host. Then you mention the admin user who has the access on uh, that particular database. Then you mention the database which needs to be exported and the name of the file where you want to take the export. So what we are going to do is we are going to execute this on our source side. So what I'm saying is pg underscore dump hyphen hyphen host, which is the host name, or I can say the local host also, hyphen hyphen username. So my admin user over here is Postgre. This is a, a normal virtual machine with Postgre uh, installed. And this is the uh, Postgre admin user, which is Postgre itself. And the database which I'm going to uh, back up is DVD rental using pg underscore dump. And the location will be slash tmp dvd rental dot sql. And I need to feed in the password for Postgre. And let me try again. Okay, this is done. So it is not going to throw anything because I haven't used the Barbos. So now if you see, you should be able to see that dump is created. And this is an SQL file with the uh, text format with all the SQL commands which are required to recreate the database. So this is available. The next thing which you have to do is though in my case I have already done it. Uh, you have to create a single instance which is just a GUI and you have to follow this step. I'll show you what extra you have to do. You have to make sure that and the important part of this will be when you uh, when you uh, get it configured there will be something called as connection string. 
make sure that you have the proper connection string through which you will be able to log in. So your connection string would look something like that. You will have a host name. I have the host name over here. The port is default port. The user will be the admin user at the rate it will be uh, followed by the host name. So if you see over here, it is uh, when I created it, it is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, when I try to connect, it will ask you for the username and in the username, you have to mention the uh, PG admin, whatever uh, admin user at the rate, the database, uh, the server name, which is PG 13 SS. And then only it is going to allow you. And we are not going to show this because this is going to be very straightforward. Uh, we have taken a backup also and uh, Azure uh, single instance is also created. What we are very um, interested in is the connection security. The connection security, you have to make sure that uh, it should allow the incoming uh, request from the, the virtual machine or the host, which is going to uh, uh, throw the dump inside it. So I have mentioned the IP address of the virtual machine and I have opened the port. If you don't do this, it is not going to work. And that's the only important step over here. Now importing the data on the target PostgreSQL server for, uh, uh, for uh, PG admin, uh, sorry, using the PSQL. And this is the command. We say PSQL hyphen hyphen. We say the location of the .sql file, the host, the target host, the target port, the username, and the database name. So this is the example. And this is what we are going to do it over here. And one of the important part over here will be, you have to make sure that uh, the, uh, let me show you. Uh, you need to ensure the IP address is there in your uh, hba.conf. So if you go here, you have to say uh, the host, uh, the database name, and the username, and the IP address. And uh, if you have to enable the SSL mode, then you have to say host SSL all, all, and the IP address. And if you execute psql hyphen hyphen file, the location of the file wherein you have taken the backup using pg underscore dump, and you mention the hyphen hyphen host, this is the target host. And we cannot log into the managed instance because we do not have the uh, access to the operating system of Azure managed instance in Azure. So what we have to do is so we need any intermediate host where you have uh, the binary installed and then only you would be able to log in over there. And uh, uh, you just press enter now. And uh, mention the password. The DVD rental database doesn't exist. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and create a database over there. So I'll say create the database D V D R E N T A L and the owner will be PG admin. This can be the ownership can be changed later on. Once you create a role, you can grant the ownership to that particular uh, role. So it is getting created. Once it is created, you will be able to log in. And uh, the most important part is you need to make sure that you are able to connect to the managed instance remotely like this. So I'm saying psql hyphen u username will be pg admin, which is the admin user, which is created during the instance creation at the rate host name. This is important. Otherwise it is not going to allow you hyphen h the complete host name of the uh, Azure managed instance hyphen d is the database name. 
and this is the way you have to make sure that you ensure the connectivity and the firewall rules are very very important otherwise it is going to be very very easy now you can see there is a dvd rental database created using the goi mode and that we had created you can use this way or that way and then we are going to fire the import before the import you need to make sure that hba.conf on the source side has the entry of the target otherwise it is not going to allow you and now we are going to fire the import how we are going to fire the import psql hyphen hyphen file the location of the file hyphen hyphen host this is the target host where it is going to import the data hyphen hyphen port is the default port uh, where postgresql is running hyphen hyphen username is the username of the managed instance at the rate uh, host name hyphen hyphen db where it is going to import and ssl mode equal to true password is correct credentials are match then it is going to allow you the so you can see that create domain and other stuff other than postgresql uh, postgre uh, default uh, database user uh, everything is being uh, being done so you have this is the this is the main difference when you try to import in a managed instance this should not be treated as an error, but this is what it is. So it has, uh, it is trying to import the tables and it is trying the altering and then finally it is going to create the indexes. And hopefully this is, this should be done at any time. Okay, this is done and if you refresh it and if you go to the DVD rental uh, database, you will be able to see we have uh, 15 tables uh, and that that's all about it. And if you, okay, let me do a recap what we have seen. So we have two steps over here. One is the source uh, server, which is on a virtual machine or on premises or infrastructures as a service. We have taken an export using PG underscore dump. We have mentioned the location of the file. Then using PSQL, we have imported the important part. Uh, everything over here is you need to make sure that you use the proper user ID so that uh, you will be able to connect to the managed instance and uh, you need to make sure that the firewall ports are open between the uh, the source and the target and uh, and I and, and hba.conf uh, pg underscore hba.conf on source side must have the details of the target so that they can they can talk because uh, we are trying to import it from the source only and all the details are over here i hope this is going to help and uh, thank you